Welcome back to a brand new Moon Market video. This is completely different than what I've ever done on this channel, and it's my first time doing a video like this. Yes, I will be talking about stocks in this video. Stocks, OTC stocks are going to be at the end. Of course, we're going to talk about the magic IPO. You know what I'm talking about. It's absolutely magic, like it says in the name. We're also going to be discussing another big boards play that is looking fantastic going into next week, and I honestly believe it can perform very well. So this is an old-fashioned video. We're going to talk about stocks, and uh, I'm in Maryland right now. It's a beautiful day, as you can see. It's very bright outside. I'm sitting you know, right, right near McDonald's. I just grabbed my sweet tea, but, um, you know, just drop a like if you do enjoy videos like this, and I'll make more videos like in this in the future, and make sure you comment below and definitely let me know if I should be making videos like this in the future. It's not something I, I'm used to at all, but if I continue to make videos like this, I'm gonna, I can basically make more videos for you in the future and just overall more content. I did want to give a shout out to my private Discord, ticker MEGL, you know, absolutely ripped. And we were talking about that in the private Discord since, you know, July, the end of July, we started talking about it. I started talking about it on the channel when I started noticing the hype building up. And um, I started talking about it all last week and <laughs> you guys know what happened Friday. So MEGL, was a recent Hong Kong IPO, you know, that was heavily speculated to be the next HKD. And uh, basically HKD was a Hong Kong IPO. I don't know anything about the company, nor does that matter. I, I know they do 50 million revenue per quarter and the thing IPO'd at $15 per share on July 15th and ended up, you know, being quiet all July, but starting in August or the end of July in August started ripping higher to a hundred bucks, 200 bucks, 500 bucks, 1500 bucks, over a thousand bucks, over 2000 bucks in HKD went ahead and did that. Now, MEGL was speculated to be the next HKD and it still is speculated to be the next HKD at this point. Remember, MEGL has only had one trading day in the market live. Let me take a sip of my sweet tea real quick, y'all. And we're gonna continue talking about this. So, Magic Empire, MEGL, was priced at $4 per share, but opened at $50 per share at market open. I personally was able to only get 13 shares, but I'm happy with that because those 13 shares are now worth $200 per share. Now, I got my whiteboard here. I got notes written down right here, going through this all with you guys. And I just want to tell you a little bit of the story about MEGL on Friday. So, you know, obviously everybody was watching this stock. Everybody in the world had their eyes on it. If not, they do now. And open at $50 per share, ripped up to $90 per share after a long halt, a long, 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 long halt. Every halt was like an hour or two hours. And then it ripped up after $90 to, to over $120 per share. Rip, halted for two hours, ripped back up after the next halt, to $200 per share, hit about $230 per share, went all the way down to 60 bucks. And then it bounced off the 60, grinded higher to about $120 at market close and went up 100% after hours. Since its price actions was so wild, everybody's eyes will 100% be on this stock going to next week. Their mind is going to be on M E G L. And that's why we have to discuss it. Obviously this is not financial advice. I'm not telling you guys to invest in this, in this IPO because it's extremely risky. One of the riskiest plays in the market, but one of the most intriguing and you know, potential possibilities in the market to make a lot of money that is not guaranteed. After hours on Friday, Michael J. Burry, Michael J. Burry, the big short guy, sent out a tweet about MEGL. I don't think he ever tweets about small caps. Doubt it. He de he deletes all his tweets, so the tweet isn't there anymore. The MEGL tweet, I ended up commenting on it, and he, he you know, he was kind of picking, p making fun of it, like, what is going on with the market? What are we living in, basically? But that doesn't matter. He can say anything about MEGL. It's giving it new eyes to, I, I think he probably has like 600K to a million followers on Twitter. It moved 100% after hours, and a lot of it, in my opinion, was based on that tweet. You know, I think we would have been up after hours anyway, a big amount, but with that Michael J. Burry tweet, you know how many new eyes got on that play? Everybody's watching MEGL. 
to Hong Kong IPO. These Hong Kong IPOs are going crazy. A lot of people are saying these stocks are manipulated, but they're manipulated higher this time. They're not manipulated down like, you know, the AMC. Uh, obviously, AMC has been doing well, but I'm just saying, you know, from AMC was manipulated down from 70 bucks all the way down to, what, $9 per share. And this one is speculated that all these Chinese Hong Kong people are in this play putting big money into it and manipulating up instead of it instead of down but retail this time is helping them out doing it they're getting into this play from the beginning when it opened so michael j burry one of the most well-known investors in the world a lot of people consider him the best investor in the world and he's just well known so that's fantastic he tweeted about megl the risk is extremely high on this stock and that's my segment on AGL. I'm about to talk about the OTC plays. But the reward can also be very high. So I'm going to go throw that over there. And I'm going to bring out this. The next NASDAQ stock that you got to be watching next week is ticker BBAI. Shout out to the Discord family. Michael, Mikkel, I don't know. i am never said your name. Michael, I'll, I'll, put, I'll go ahead and say it's Michael. But he's killing in the private Discord. If you join the private Discord, look at his plays. Look at the stockballer room, and you're going to be making a lot of money in the market, including, you know, my calls, and we have multiple stockballers. There was a guy in the Discord that called TRRI at market open, an OTC stock. It ran over a thousand percent on the day in that private Discord. We're calling big board stocks, we're calling everything in the private Discord. I just added a bot in the private Discord that costs $200 to get in there, and it gives you alerts as well. There's so many signals. There's endless opportunity in that private Discord, but enough of that dang private Discord talk. So, BBAI spiked to $4 last trading day. It's now trading at $2.79. It's a cybersecurity stock in a hot sector. So, and it used to be trading at $15 per share, hitting about $16 per share. Keep an eye on BBAI. It's so low on the chart. It's near out of bottom. It could drop to around 260 to maybe even 230 at the lowest, but it's at its bottom right now. Now, BBAI with that one. OTC stocks. My number one OTC watch next week is WNFT. On August 11th, which is next week, they have a court date. Now, WNFT is a NFT company, worldwide NFT, that is speculated to have a billion dollar NFT company merging into it. It seems like they picked their target. They're just waiting to move this company into WNFT, the shell ticker. Now, they're going to go to court and they're going to decide on if the shares that, you know, they already canceled are going to be settled and that's going to stay that way. They're not going to bring the shares back because the other owner basically wants those shares back and he wants the shares. He doesn't want them to be canceled. So they're going to decide on that. If they have a good outcome in that court, it's going to absolutely pop. It's going to absolutely pop. It probably will. And most likely will unless you get sell on the news. I'm not guaranteeing anything here, but it most likely will. But it can also grind higher next week leading up to August 11. So keep that in mind as well. Can drop. It can absolutely tank if the court is bad. It can go back down to $0.04, cents, $0.05. Cents, but if it does, $0.04, cents, $0.05, cents, I'm going to be eating that up. So that's that. NXMR, they did a share cancellation. One thing I will say. I think NXMR is a bit overbought and it's a bit high. I think it's going to be red tomorrow. I think it's going to be a little bit red next week. Hit five cents last week. We made a bunch of money on NXMR. Covered it at one cent. Talking about it in the private Discord forever. It's an oil and gas company. They have a new CEO that used to work for Oxy, the, the, the stock that Warren Buffett is invested in. He used to work there. And they canceled about 50% of their overall outstanding share count. About 150 million shares canceled out of outstanding shares. I don't think it updated on otcmarkets.com yet, but that's huge. So keep an eye on NXMR. I think it can cool down, but if you can grab this at around maybe three to four cents, if it goes even lower, I like it there. They have acquisitions coming up. They have so many deals coming up. Oil and gas is still hot. Hot sectors. We love hot sectors. We love share cancellations. We love acquisition catalysts. Now, ticker EMGE. I think with EMG, this is a great play. They recently acquired a company. Um, they, they have Jim Morrison on their team that used to work at L'Oreal, president of L'Oreal. I'm talking about EMGE, by the way. And this company has two more acquisitions on the way. Now, 
Could you pick this up at 0.021 and fill that gap at 0.021? Yes, you may be able to. I, I've been adding a little bit. I'm not giving financial advice. I'm just telling you, I've been adding a little bit even before the gap fill because gap fills may never fill. You never know on that. But I think the MMs want to push it to the gap fill, but they've been playing games with us where they bring it down right before the gap fill and then they'll bring it back up. So if you want to get them right before the gap fill, feel free to, but I would love to see that gap fill so we can just get it over with and bring it down a little bit and then bring it right back up because they have two acquisitions on the way. There is a dilution risk with EMGE. So if they dilute, that is a huge risk and it can drop off of that dilution, but ticker EMGE. Now, I want to talk about ILUS for a quick second. This is a long-term hold. I'm telling you right now, ticker ILUS and QIND. ILUS is the, you know, the main company. Um, firefighting company, all this kind of stuff. There's so much to do. I could talk about that forever, but QIND is a subsidiary of ILUS. Now, this is a long-term hold. Don't just run into ILUS thinking you're going to make a bunch of money the next day. It's a long-term hold. They have a bunch of catalysts coming up. The next catalyst is for them to so complete the deal of Quality International. Complete that deal. It's a two, 100 to 200 million revenue producing company. I love ILUS long-term. Okay, I wanted to mention that one real quick. And that's pretty much it for this video. It's going to be a crazy week. Get hype going into next week. If you like these videos, drop a like. Let me know. Get this to a thousand likes right now. Let's get it. And comment down below and join the private discord. We're literally dropping alerts every single day, all hours of the day, all pretty much every minute of the day. We're dropping alerts. It's literally the best discord ever. I'm going to be confident and say it's the best discord ever. Stock market. Yeah. But at this point, it's the best discord ever. Honestly, I love you all. Thank you guys for watching my videos. I hope you did enjoy this video. That's it for me. Peace.